gentlemen, and welcome to Crispin Memorial Field, where tonight we, as a community, gather to help kick off all of the new beginnings ahead of us here in the Berwick area. With this pep rally, with this bonfire, and with this display of support from all of you, the Berwick Area School District shines, and together we all move forward. At this time, I would like to call upon Mr. Wayne Brookhart, Berwick Area School District Superintendent. Thank you, Mr. Michael. To begin tonight, I'd like to ask if we could have a brief moment of silence in honor of the late Coach George Perry. Please bow your heads. Thank you. For those that have been around since the 60s, the 70s, you probably remember bonfires as a way to pull a community together the night before the first fall contest. They have not been around for a while. We thought it was a great year to reestablish that old tradition. I'd like to thank a few people before we start the bonfire tonight for having this vision. First of all, is Marianne Koleski, our board president. Thank you, Marianne. And secondly, Chief Kulbaugh, our fire chief here in Berwick, who is performing the yeoman effort, as well as his entire department, who will put long hours, long after you're gone, to make sure that everything is extinguished safely. So thank you, Chief. What is a bonfire, just real quickly, for those that are younger and have not been around, it's just a, a way to get together, to get some spirit, to get our cheerleaders a chance to perform, to recognize our fall co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Uh, is there a script or a program? Not necessarily. Kind of a spontaneous evening to be to have fun responsibly, to get together and to look forward to the new year. And it does become quite spectacular when this is lit and it starts to, uh, to grow. So hopefully you'll enjoy your night. Thanks for coming out and making this evening a success. We hope to see you tomorrow night as well and also at our grand opening for the new building in West Berwick on Saturday morning. And I would like to pass the microphone on to Mrs. Coleski. Thank you, Mr. President. Tonight is special. Tonight, we honor our past, and we embrace our future. And I've got to tell you, tonight is Bill Coolbaugh's baby, because without him, and without these firefighters, and our first responders, and our police, this would not have happened. So give it up for Mr. Coolbaugh, firefighters, police, first responders. And there's a reason the rain stopped, because today is Bill Obama's birthday. Now, y'all know I sound like a wounded moose when I sing, so could you please lead in song and wishing Mr. Kulba happy birthday? So on three. One, two, three. Thank you for supporting them. And to all athletes, I have one piece of advice for you as your seasons begin. Study hard, work hard, be good. I'd like to turn it over to Bill Colbaugh. Thank you. Start with when we light the fire up, because fire personnel all around for your safety, okay? Other than that, you guys ready for some Bulldog football?
Thank <laughs> you. 